In the labs of Exo Farm, a mysterious scientist is conducting some experiments using ants when suddenly, his arthritis hits him in the leg with excruciating pain. The scientist flails and falls back, accidentally hitting the tools on his desk, making them fall. This allows the ant he had been experimenting on to escape. Months later, 12-year-old Pele is trying to survive middle school. He's tired of everyone ignoring him because he's extremely bland and boring, people don't even get his name right. He wishes for any kind of attention, even if that meant being the nerd everyone teases. Not having friends or any kind of social interaction makes him feel tiny and insignificant. The attention he wants the most is his crush Amanda's, but she doesn't know he even exists. When it's time to take the class pictures, even the photographer barely notices Pele and gets his name wrong. In the final group picture, only the top of Pele's head can be seen, further proving how little they care about him. Later during class, the teacher gives the students a new assignment, they need to make a presentation on an interesting person in town, making a poster with pictures and facts about them. Amanda's sister Ida points out there aren't interesting people in their little town, and the teacher reminds her that the sister's dad Mr. Summerstead is the CEO of Exofarm, so that should be a good place to start. This assignment has to be done in pairs, and for a moment Pele thinks Amanda is asking him to be her partner, but she's actually talking to the girl behind him and he's going unnoticed again. After school, Pele is spending time by himself on the roof when he sees two older kids making fun of Wilhelm for being a nerd and liking comic books. Pele decides to help by throwing his apple at the boys, getting them to back away, then he tries to hide behind the roof. He would have gotten away with it if wasn't for a teacher that sees him from through the window and calls him out for being on the roof, now the boys can see him as well and begin chasing him through town. Pele is faster than them but he doesn't know how much energy he has to keep going, so he decides to hide in the garden of a very spooky house, where an ant begins crawling up his leg. The boys hear some noises and guess Pele is in that garden, but they don't dare to enter because this house belonged to Mrs. Gamalkra, who died in mysterious circumstances and now there are stories going around about the house possibly being haunted. After the boys leave, Pele decides to check out the house when suddenly, the ant crawls up his body and bites his neck. Pele begins feeling dizzy and falls to the ground, where his blurry vision lets him see a human shape approach him. Before he can ask what's going on, Pele passes out. By the time he wakes up, night has fallen. Pele returns home, where he's scolded by his mother for coming back so late, so Pele makes up some lie about losing track of time while playing with a schoolmate. Then he goes to bed without having dinner because he's tired yet not hungry. Once he falls asleep, Pele can't stop having dreams about ants, and he ends up waking in the middle of the night to sleepwalk to the kitchen in order to have a feast. The next morning, Pele doesn't remember anything and is shocked to see his bedroom full of food packages and leftovers, not to mention the stains on his lips and cheek. Afterward he has breakfast with his parents, who are watching an interview with Mr. Summerstead about a flea epidemic in town. While his mother realizes somehow they're out of sugar, Pele tries to add milk to his cereal, only to get the carton stuck in his hands. It isn't until his father takes it away that he can let go of it. Then Pele tries to drink some juice, but by just picking up the glass, he breaks it. Moments later, Pele is running late and when he rushes into the school, he bumps into Wilhelm. He helps him pick up his comic book before approaching the classroom, only to accidentally break the door right in front of Wilhelm's eyes. Later during gym class, Wilhelm can't stop staring at Pele, especially when the teacher asks for a volunteer to demonstrate the next exercise and picks Pele for being the only one not to raise a hand. This exercise consists of fighting with pugil sticks, and the teacher takes advantage of his bigger size to beat Pele to the ground twice in a row. Pele feels humiliated, but when he notices Amanda watching him, he puts himself together and tries again with more determination. This time, Pele easily dodges and blocks the teacher's moves before hitting him back, causing him to fly across the room. Scared of his own body, Pele runs away, leaving Wilhelm in shock. After school is over, Wilhelm follows Pele to try to get him to confess what's going on because he's sure Pele is some kind of superhero. While Wilhelm keeps babbling about possible powers, Pele stares at a mysterious man parking in front of Mrs. Gamalkra's house, thinking he looks familiar but not recognizing him as the shape he saw when the ant bit him. Wilhelm keeps babbling, so Pele accepts to borrow the comic book he keeps offering just to get him to shut up. While Pele leaves Wilhelm behind, the man enters the house and looks at an article about Mr. Summerstead in the newspaper, promising revenge. Later at home, Pele stares at a picture of Amanda, thinking how he acted rather impressively in front of her today, and decides to give Wilhelm's comic book a try. Once he's learned more about superheroes, he begins playing with some toys pretending he's a hero and saving Amanda from the bad guys. He gets so into it that when he throws a punch, he accidentally destroys his teddy bear and his bedroom door. The next day, Pele gives Wilhelm the comic book back and finally admits he's been bitten by an ant. Wilhelm is super excited to hear this and accepts to help Pele with his superhero journey, taking him to his house where he keeps all kinds of hero merchandise. First they need to know what kind of powers Pele has, so they watch a documentary about ants to learn more about them. Pele has super strength because ants can lift several times their own weight, he also has an ant's sharp mandibles that allow him to bite through anything. Ants have a great sense of smell too, and by blindfolding Pele, 
Wilhelm confirms he has it too by making him test his nose on various meals. There are certain rare antis that can fly, but when Pele tries, he just falls on the ground. Ants can defend themselves with their formic acid, and Pele discovers his own pea can now destroy objects. Lastly, the most important thing in a male ant's life is the queen, explaining Pele's obsession with Amanda. If Pele is going to be a superhero, he's going to need a costume. They try to put something together with the things they find around the house but they look ugly as heck, so Wilhelm orders some costumes online and combines them into an actually cool looking suit. Then the boys go to spend some time at the supermarket's parking lot, looking for some crime. There's an argument about what Pele's superhero name will be, and after lots of bad ideas, they decide Ant Boy will do for now. With all the waiting, Pele is starting to feel hungry and Wilhelm accepts to go buy something for him. As soon as he's gone, Pele notices a thief stealing the wallet from a lady, and after changing into his costume, he goes after him. The thief laughs when he sees Pele's costume, causing the poor boy to get intimidated and babble about stealing being wrong and how the thief should get an education. As the thief starts coming closer, Pele backs away in fear and ends up hitting a wall, but this doesn't stop him and he just begins to unconsciously crawl on it. Now it's the thief's turn to feel scared, and Pele sees this opportunity to strike, jumping on the thief before he can run away. Moments later, Wilhelm returns to the parking lot to see the police arresting the thief while he whines about a scary little kid. Pele calls Wilhelm from his hiding spot to tell him about what happened, but when he tries to show how he can climb walls, it doesn't work. Pele also feels incredibly hungry again, and Wilhelm realizes that like ants, Pele needs sugar to get energy, so his powers stop working if he doesn't recharge. To complete the Ant Boy costume, Wilhelm gives Pele a belt with candy to recharge any time, a new cover for his phone, and an earpiece he calls the Antcom which can be connected to Pele's phone, that way they can always stay in touch while they go on adventures. From then on, Pele begins working as a superhero in his free time with Wilhelm's help, saving people from all kinds of dangers like car crashes and fires, but also stopping the bad guys that bother the innocent at school. Ant Boy soon appears all over the news and people love him, giving Pele the attention he's always wanted. There's merchandising like shirts and dolls, the school play will be about him, and even Amanda starts getting a crush on Ant Boy to the point she uses him as the subject of her presentation. Pele loves to sign autographs and appear in interviews as Ant Boy, which prompts Wilhelm to talk to him in private one afternoon, explaining that heroes should be out helping people, not using their power to get fans. Wilhelm believes Pele just wants to be popular and points out girls will never care about the real them, just about the superhero, but Pele doesn't care because the attention Ant Boy gets is enough. One evening, Amanda is busy working on her project when she suddenly hears a noise on the balcony. It turns out a supervillain known as the Flea has come to kidnap her, and when Ida comes over after hearing her sister screaming, it's too late, the Flea is leaving with Amanda over his shoulders, only leaving the girl's necklace behind. The next day at school, Pele is disappointed to hear the sisters didn't come because Amanda is sick. Suddenly the class is interrupted by cries of help from a student that is about to fall from the roof, so Pele changes into his Ant Boy costume and climbs the wall to save him after ignoring an incoming call from his mother into the Antcom. Pele pushes the boy inside the building only to discover it's a doll with a recorder, all this has been set up by Ida to make the famous Ant Boy show up in front of her. She explains her sister has been kidnapped and the flea sent a video with a threat saying he'll kill Amanda in 48 hours if Mr. Summerstead doesn't pay $20 million and quits his CEO position at Exo Farm, he'll also hurt Amanda if they call the police. Pele wonders why Mr. Summerstead won't pay and Ida points out that her family isn't that rich, thus Pele accepts to rescue Amanda with the help of Wilhelm. Saying that name aloud is an accident, and now Ida wants to go with them and help as well. Pele has no choice but to bring Ida with him to Wilhelm's place, which Wilhelm hates because he thinks girls always ruin everything and can't keep a secret. Ida interrupts his rant to ask to be taken seriously, and after playing the video again, Wilhelm is even angrier. He thinks Mr. Summerstead like all CEOs is an evil businessman that only pretends to care about the little person and he could totally pay that money, especially when Ida explains lots of people dislike her dad and that he says it's lonely being at the top. The trio starts thinking about who could possibly hate Summerstead this much and Pele notices that Ida is carrying Amanda's necklace, which still has her scent. Pele uses his nose to track Amanda down through town and after wandering around in their bikes, the trio makes it to Mrs. Gamilkra's house, the same place where Pele got his powers. Ida and Wilhelm are worried because Mrs. Gamilkra was found dead last summer after her body rotted on the floor for two months, so there are a lot of creepy stories going around, but Pele can't allow Ant Boy to get scared and enters the house anyway. He finds a door at the back that is locked, so Pele gets it open by peeing on it with his acidic urine. Once inside, he discovers he's in some kind of basement laboratory filled with plants and creepy crawlies. At the very back, Pele finds Amanda locked inside an unbreakable glass cage, and while he's trying to find a way to free her, the flea appears behind him and pushes him into the cage as well. When Pele asks, the flea is glad to share his backstory. He used to be a chemist at Exo Farm conducting research with a very rare species of ant that has unique antibodies capable of killing life-threatening illnesses. 
He developed a serum with the ant's healing powers and tested it on his own mother Mrs. Gamalkra, confirming the flea as the guy Pele saw in the house when he was bitten. The serum made Mrs. Gamalkra's tumor smaller, but then Summerstead implemented his cutbacks, the flea's research was terminated, and Mrs. Gamalkra was left to die. Afterward, the flea began working on his revenge, and his experiments changed from ants to the flea of blood. When he consumed the new serum, the flea's properties removed the arthritis in his legs and made them 100 times stronger, but the transformation also made him crave blood, so his suit has two tanks full of it in order to recharge. Then the flea begins attacking Pele with psychological low blows, revealing he knows his secret identity and that the ant that bit him was the last of its kind, so Pele should be thankful to a villain for his powers. Amanda loves Ant Boy, not Pele, and Wilhelm is only interested in him for his powers, not because he wants his friendship. Underneath the costume, Pele was still an insignificant loser. The conversation suddenly interrupted by the police sirens, having been called by Wilhelm and Ida after they lost contact with Pele. The flea escapes using his flying powers and the cops rescue Amanda and Pele, who finds himself with his spirit broken. He thinks the flea was right, nobody really loves Pele, and he shouldn't be risking his life for people that don't care about him. When Wilhelm points out they should go after the flea, Pele refuses and gives the helmet to him, telling him he can be Ant Boy from now on because he quits. Wilhelm stares at the helmet, actually considering the idea. The next day at school, Pele and Wilhelm ignore each other. The classes are suddenly interrupted by an attack from the flea, so everybody starts running outside. Wilhelm asks Pele for Ant Boy, but Pele says this isn't his problem and he'll let the cops handle it. After Pele joins the others outside, Wilhelm puts on the Ant Boy helmet and grabs two cans of insecticide to go after the flea. As he walks down the corridor, he finds a girl hiding inside some furniture and makes her go away, but when the flea finally finds him after destroying many walls, Wilhelm isn't quick enough to avoid getting captured. Outside, the little girl tells everyone that Ant Boy saved her, and Pele realizes it must be Wilhelm. Worried about his friend, Pele rushes inside to look for him and finds the costume the school made for the Ant Boy play, so he puts it on before going after the flea. When the villain sees him, he removes the helmet from Wilhelm and realizes he's been tricked, thus he takes the boy hostage instead. Pele wants to help but he's starting to get hungry, and since this isn't his real suit, it doesn't have the sugar refills. The flea immediately notices this advantage and begins breaking walls again, this time also throwing Pele out of the room. This puts him close to a vending machine, and Pele manages to put his hands on some soda that he drinks to recharge his powers. Noticing this, the flea decides to fly away with Wilhelm to hide in the woods. Pele runs outside and Ida tries to offer her help, but Pele promises he's got this. After using his super teeth to destroy a lock, Pele steals a bicycle and makes his way to the forest as well. When he arrives at the forest, Pele finds Wilhelm's glasses on the ground and uses the smell to find him tied to a tree. After freeing him, he begins hearing the flea's voice telling him his real weakness isn't the lack of sugar, but his loved ones. Then the flea jumps from a tree and appears between the boys, kicking Pele away and scaring Wilhelm to run in the opposite direction. Once he's far enough, Wilhelm calls Pele to confirm he's okay, and Pele tells him he has a plan. When the flea goes after him, he finds the helmet and the cap on the ground, and Pele shows up at a safe distance. Pele keeps him distracted by insulting him and daring him to recharge so they can fight one-on-one -on -one in a duel, the flea takes the bait and opens his tanks to drink some blood. Since Pele is keeping him distracted, Wilhelm approaches the flea from behind and messes with the tanks to make them lose blood. After Pele recharges as well, hero and villain run towards each other to end it all with one punch, and Pele easily lands his first, sending the flea flying against a tree. Because his tanks are empty, the flea's weak and his arthritis is affecting him again. Pele points out he lost because he doesn't have friends to help him during the hard times, but the flea refuses to give up and tries again, only to be thrown away by Pele's super strength. After the flea passes out, Pele gives Wilhelm his glass back and they reconcile. Later in the evening, the flea is arrested by the police, and Summerstead appears on TV denying any responsibility. Amanda is putting some lipstick on, expecting a visit from Ant Boy, but when he finally shows up and she tries to thank him with a kiss, Pele turns her down and asks for Ida so he can return the necklace. Hurt, Amanda runs out of the room, and Ida comes in, confessing she knows Ant Boy's real identity but also promising she won't tell. Ida and Pele thank each other for their help and accept to become friends. Sometime later, Wilhelm approaches Pele with the idea of making a costume for himself to be a proper sidekick, and Pele loves it. Together with Wilhelm and Ida, he knows he'll be invincible. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.